Central West Local Land Services Small Grants Program offers an opportunity for both community groups and Aboriginal owned and operated organisations to apply for funding for projects up to $5,000. Projects should be aimed at providing outcomes towards the natural resource and cultural priorities outlined within the relevant guidelines. Applying is simple and this short video provides an overview of the application process. Local Land Services acknowledges that it stands on country which always was and always will be Aboriginal land. We acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land and waters and we show our respect for Elders past, present and emerging. We are committed to providing places in which Aboriginal people are included socially, culturally and economically through thoughtful and collaborative approaches to our work. Accessing the information you need to apply is easy. You can either visit our website and select Grants and Funding, select the Funding Opportunities banner or enter the link shown on your screen into your favourite browser. You will be brought to the current Funding Opportunities page. Your first step should always be reviewing the grant guidelines. This provides you with information regarding your eligibility, assessment criteria and the general terms and conditions of applying for a small grant. There are currently two streams of small grants open, the Resilient Community Small Grants, open to community groups, and the Connection to Country Small Grants, open to Aboriginal owned and operated organisations. Once you have reviewed the relevant guidelines and decided to apply, select the relevant stream under How do I apply? Should you not be comfortable with applying online, printable versions have been made available for you to download. Applications are to be made via the Central West Local Land Services Engagement Hub. The hub is a central engagement portal used to host funding opportunities, advisory group recruitment, large-scale event promotion and resources and community consultation and public exhibitions. We recommend you register on the hub, allowing for easy access to your past and future contributions and more importantly, the ability to save your funding applications and return to them at a later stage. Should you choose not to register, you can still make an application by clicking Apply Now and entering your basic contact information. An overview of the grant you are applying for is provided. You must acknowledge that you have reviewed and read the relevant guidelines to ensure your eligibility before proceeding with your application. Questions 1 to 15 capture information regarding your organisation and the project you're seeking funding for. To support your application and the assessment criteria, you are required to submit a project budget. The budget should clearly outline the estimated expenses relating to the project and whether the amounts are to be funded or to be an in-kind contribution. An easy to use template will open in another window. Please ensure you complete and save prior to uploading into question 16 for submission. Question 18 requires you to select the project outputs that relate to your project. Project outputs are the outcomes of your project that align to the funding requirements of the small grants program. You must select only those that apply to your project and the quantity committed must be achievable within the project completion date of the 30th of April 2023. Again, the template will open in a new window. Please ensure that you save to your computer before uploading into question 18. Once you have reached the end of question 24, ensure you select the Submit Now button and wait for the Thank You for Your Application message. If you do not see the Thank You for Your Application message, it is likely that your application has not been submitted successfully and we encourage you to contact the Central West Local Land Services team. Finally, we take a look at some small grants tips and tricks to help you with your application process. Firstly, we recommend you register on the Engagement Hub. This allows you to begin your application, save a draft and complete your application at a time suitable for you. Every question within the application requires an answer. If you miss a question and attempt to submit, this field is required message will appear. You may wish to access the project outputs and budget templates within the home page of the hub. You can prepare these prior to submitting to save time and avoid application timeout. Remember to save your budget and project outputs to your computer before uploading them into the application. 
If you have registered on the Hub, you are able to save a draft of your application. Simply log in, go back to the Apply Now button and your saved application will appear. Your application has not been successfully submitted if you do not see the thank you for your application message. If you have any questions or concerns about your application, please contact Brooke Kirkman on the details on the screen.